He was three days old. And his mother had rejected him because he was so small. He couldn't walk because his legs were crooked and his bite was off. I got a call from a lady who has a breeding ranch. She said, my mare just had a baby and it's a dwarf, so we're going to put him down. I said, no, don't do that. I drove across country and I went and got Peabody. And he looked at me and he thought, did I die and go to heaven? <laughs> Good morning, little man. You ready for breakfast? I started feeding him the milk out of a bowl because he couldn't seem to latch on with his jaw. It was so difficult. And then I had some shoes made for him. The next thing you know, he's running down the wood floor, making all kinds of noise. Hey, you feel like a big boy. Unfortunately, he was too small for the other horses. If you walked by him and brushed him, he'd fall over. Oh, oops, oh, you okay, sweetie, come. So he became our house horse. If you think you're living in the bedroom, you can forget it. I don't know if he thought he was a dog, but he didn't think he was a horse. I had two French Bulldogs. And one day, here comes Penelope. She went up nose to nose. He, he had no fear. And they'd run and see who would win the race. Oh my God. And Peabody would run as fast as he could. And then I would say, dinner served, come on, everybody. And they'd run right to the kitchen. The Frenchies, they would bang into each other, but not with Peabody because they knew that he wasn't strong. And yes, he was a dwarf, but he was going to be a stallion. He stopped eating my paper. If you keep doing that, I'm going to love Bugsy more than I love you. He would always try to bite the dogs on the rear end as they went by. But in such a cute way, you could never get mad at him. Dwarf horses don't have a long life. And so little Peabody passed away but his spirit is going to live on. He was really part of the family. 